Hey, <laughs> welcome everyone. Uh, I don't know where Kathy is. I hear something upstairs. <laughs> I don't know where she is. How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Thursday. Happy pie day. You guys get any pie to have today? Looks like we got Maya's here. There's Kathy. Oh, his TV. Of course. Maya's here. Mandy says just finished thrifting on the way home. Awesome. Yeah, a few less shoes. Uh, Fridley's here. Happy Pie Day, Chris, Kathy, Reese, and everyone. Did you say we're gonna eat pie? I did. <laughs> oh, you named it pie. So. Yeah. It's bring your own pie, though. You okay, guys obvious. <laughs> Eat some pie, list, and chew. Kendra's here, says, hi. It's been a while since I've made a live. Tax season for me, but got off work in time tonight. So excited to take part. Awesome. So you work in taxes? You uh, an accountant, CPA, mm -hmm. or just a business owner who's doing your own taxes? Because <laughs> that's uh, that's what I've been doing. Wait, did you finish? <laughs> I need to. Um, I was gonna put on the business card. Oh. Yeah. So. I I still have to file. So <laughs> <laughs> it's done. I just need it. Well, the corporate taxes, but. Uh, Maya says, I'm wondering if summer slowdown is starting early this year. It was super warm this week, and every day the post office is basically empty. Usually I see a lot of people bringing in their sales. We've uh, we've had a snow day today. Well, today I have hardly had any sales, but <laughs> I noticed this morning my eBay sale ended, and I haven't restarted it, mm. which always makes me not have much sales. And then... I've had some Poshmark offers, but they're all really low. Actually, well, I need to decide still if I want to accept one. Help me decide. Help decide. <laughs> Let's see. Is my, well, I guess my screen's not on right now. I started a poll. So give the details and you guys let well, us know. I, Should she I accept or not? my screen on. I'll show the item. Oh, your screen good? You ready? So it's this Parks Project shirt. New Somebody, already <laughs> Somebody already voted. Huh? Somebody already voted. Except or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's listed at 48. Their offer is 24. But I did get it at the bins. These shirts retail for like 48. And look how many likes. It has 18 likes. It's only been listed like a week. Mm. But I've sent probably up to at least 30% off my list price, which would be what? 48. <sighs> Uh, that'd be like $33 with discount shipping. So like $30 plus shipping, which I do think it should sell for about $30 plus shipping. Let's see. Parks Project. Oh, I should have had a third option to counter. <laughs> I don't really. Uh, I rarely count. Can't really see. It's blurry. What is? Uh, Maya says it's blurry. The, the image. You mean like my whole screen? I guess. Maybe just small screen. Or small picture, I mean. You seen any comps? I am I'm, I'm looking on eBay. I mean, Artful I Journeys here. I How's it going, Kelly? It. it says, Happy Pie Day. Tommy's here. What's going on, Tommy? Hello, Kathy and Chris and everyone in the chat. Got my chocolate-covered strawberry frappuccino. That sounds delicious. And headed home. Beautiful evening in Portland. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm a, 
I'm not opposed to accepting 24. I was thinking it should sell around 30. Maybe I should like. Are you able to? I should offer to everyone else like a little bit more than that. Hmm. Oops, I didn't mean to. Uh, let's send offers to everyone. Hmm. What should I do? Like, let's do 30 with this count sheet. 30. Are you able to like zoom in on the shirt at all? Make a bigger picture? Kendra says, yes, I am a licensed tax preparer for the full for my full-time job for 20 plus years. Yeah, I guess I can't scroll into it's a little bigger, <laughs> but Oh, it's the big bend. It's just a t-shirt, but yeah. Anyways, Ridley said counter. See, and then kind of counter huh? on this Kenzo sweater. I just declined and already relisted the sweater. Um, they offered 35. <laughs> I have it. Oh, I forgot to delete the one. <laughs> Let me. Uh, I have it listed at 109. I mean, I've seen comps around 80, so I didn't even counter. Tommy says, I never take 50% offers. I usually deduct 5% on my counter on those, offer on those. <laughs> so go down 5% from your original listing price. <laughs> Mike says, I'm sorry, there may be an issue with my phone. It's all right. I guess if you really want to see it, you can look it up <laughs> on our Poshmark. Mimi's here, thrift tripping. What's going on? What part of the country are you in now? You driving all around, thrifting? While tripping. I don't know. I feel like I feel the used clothing market has collapsed quite a bit in the past year. I basically only source new with tag now. Do you feel like it's collapsed on you? Uh, no, but I also am some you've changed. Items, yeah, so I mean, it's you've like, changed your. Me, I barely paid anything, and I'm still making yeah. a good amount of money. <laughs> All right, let's check the poll. No. 75% of people said, no, don't take the offer. <laughs> Kathy, tomorrow is closet clear out. You could tell them you'll drop the price tomorrow. They, they so don't can... seem like they have any, I don't know how often they use Poshmark. Could drop the price to 27 tomorrow. If they want it, they'll get a four ninety nine shipping, so it'll be the same price. Smart thinking. <laughs> Amy says, "I'm back home." All right, sweet. Fridley is. I might meet them in the middle at thirty two dollars, but I also haven't made many sales this week. Kendra says all about the quick sale for me right now. I have so much inventory to list right now, but no space in storage. So running super aggressive sales this week to clear out old stuff and make room. Yeah, I was going to send 30% off on everything on Posh while we're live. Just... Ooh. Mama with the cameras here. What's going on, Lori? Although you're going to maybe have to get my sales if I can't drive again tomorrow. The what? roads are perfectly fine. Not right now, they're not. No? Like when I just it's uh, sticking? I went to Chipotle with the kids. Chris didn't want yeah. food, so. Uh, I mean, it's just across the street, and it started to get icy. Mm. It was fine earlier, but. Lori says, happy pie day. We had pizza pie. Pizza pie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sourcing of the bins is fine, but I couldn't make it paying retail thrifts. It's cheaper here now to source new tags at Ross, yeah. Marshalls, Burlington, than to buy at thrifts. <clears throat> I yeah. do feel like that a lot when I retail arbitrage. This new Facebook group came across my Facebook like recommendation recommended recommended groups or whatever, and it was called the Goodwill Shame. What was it? it was basically shame it was like showing pictures of goodwill items like that, way overpriced or yeah oh. and then showing like the retail price of it mm -hmm. like basically shame, they're like selling like a dollar store yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 
Hey, there was quite a few people. There's like a hundred thousand people in that group or something. I didn't join it, but I thought it was Goodwill Shaming. Yeah, that might have been what it is. It had like a logo, like Goodwill, like the Goodwill face, and then like an angry Goodwill face. <laughs> <clears throat> Swimmerizations here which says hi how is your weather snow yeah we got two snow days and two next school snow two days weeks is spring break so yep. basically 20 days off for the kids. boys are now <laughs> home until next month yeah. um yeah snow today's snow day made sense yeah and um, I think tomorrow is too like yeah. It is starting to snow a bit. It again. probably could have been a two hour delay. Today. Yeah. It was just they were in they were anticipating a lot of snow. Um like we live a little bit south of a place called Castle Rock, Colorado, and I saw someone say that they were expecting three feet of snow in Castle Rock. I don't know if they got it. But we're like thirty minutes south of them. Um, eh, almost two feet for this person. 20 inches in Briargate. Northeast Castle Rock. So, yeah, I mean, I think we were just on the outskirts of what it would have been. We got a little bit of snow, but maybe like if it wasn't windy, like it winded the wind kind of drifted up a little bit if it wasn't windy we probably would have got six inches and none of it really stuck on the streets that much tommy says for me i price my items at current market price based on sold so i never take more than 20 percent off newly listed items if i've had a year or more then i might make a deal if i've had them a year or more then i might make a deal Very close to renting a storage unit. Mmm, pizza pie. Count me in. Goodwill shaming. That's what it is. LA Jen, what's going on? Welcome in. And he says, I think I'm in that Goodwill Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how many... I'll look it up on my phone. There's, uh, there was quite a few members. I was surprised. Um, how is it not pulling up the group now? Oh, there it is. 238,000 members. That's crazy. <laughs> what? It's a, it's a good idea, though. Because they are pricing things ridiculous lately. Yeah, my Goodwills have everything. Boutique pricing and never drop prices. If I can motivate myself to go to the bins, they have tons of good store pools there. Yeah, we're even, I mean, there's been some stuff like today we recorded two hauls. Um, some of the stuff, it seemed like they had priced too high. Yeah. Like yeah, and could, I was thinking because they don't even allow you to try stuff on in the store anymore. So yeah. like, and you can only return for store credit. So like for the prices they're putting on stuff and then you can't even try it on. Why would someone like even risk that? Yeah. I feel like people are going to Goodwill for a deal if they're shopping for themselves. So they probably don't want to spend like this dress was like $35 and it might not fit them and they could return it, but only for store credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lori says, wow, snow. I can't imagine mm -hmm. it's already warm here. I mean, we, it, yesterday it was, it was decent. I guess the day before yesterday, like we moved a few things out of the house yesterday just before it started kind of getting cold and I think it was starting to get rainy yesterday 
Amy says, uh, was 80 here today? <laughs> Not sure if I like that either. 80, yeah. I'll take the cold. <laughs> I like 50 to 60. <laughs> <laughs> favorite pie? Mine has to be pizza pie. <laughs> we actually got my favorite dessert pie. I like, I mean, I like the savory pies. I like pizza. I like shepherd's pie. I mm, like um, chicken pot pie, you know? Um, but we got, we, uh, I, I'm sure Village Inn is everywhere, right? It's, yeah. Probably sucks everywhere <laughs> too. But they have this, the chocolate peanut butter pie, peanut butter cup pie, which I feel like they got rid of for a while. And then I found out today that they had it back. And so I went and picked one up. We gotta get it at some point. But that's my favorite pie. Peanut butter cup, Reese's peanut butter cup pie. My teens have been telling me pie jokes all day. Oh. My kids did not get to wear their peak pie shirts to school today <laughs> because they didn't have school today. <laughs> I wait pie. all year to let them wear those shirts and they didn't even get dressed barely That's until... the problem with shirts that work one day a year. <laughs> all right. Okay, but they could wear it whenever I just save it. I'll sprinkle in some pie jokes. <laughs> what was Sir Isaac Newton's favorite dessert? How is that even a joke? <laughs> Apple pie. P.I. Hopefully your kids had some better ones than that, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly says, kids have so much time away from school now, I feel sorry for parents who both work outside the home and have to struggle with daycare. Oh, I know. It's like... like do you think daycares were even open today? Like, if... I mean, our post office... I know yeah. our post office isn't like a real post office, but even it was closed. You got Village Inn. You got Starbucks. I got Chipotle. Starbucks closed but at 12, though. the post office though. was closed. This is funny. What are you looking at that... I'm not trying to. What was <laughs> I? I'm looking up born and this model number. Do not look up birthing videos. <laughs> w, am I, did I type it wrong? W31. That's what it looks like right now. Do you ever do the posh posh live shows? My posh has been slow lately. No, we've never really done a, a, a live selling show. Laura says, hello, 70 degrees in Maryland. You kind of missed the snow. Do you not get snow in Maryland? I, f I felt like you guys are close. Like New York gets a lot of snow, right? You guys are like around there. It snows in the east, doesn't it? No posh shows for me. My posh is my best selling platform by far. There you go. Looks like the ginger bot is working with the pieces. That's good. I did update it. It had an update come out. Happy Pie Day, all. Uh, authentically Nikki, welcome. Says hi there. I watch you all often, but I never catch a live. Never caught a live. I'm listening right now, so I thought you all could keep me motivated. Awesome. Well, Kathy's gonna be listening. I'm I'm probably gonna go get the pie. No, <laughs> no. Leave me. I can get the pie. Okay, you go get the pie. So the kids want it whenever you get some for well, you. Well, yeah, they can have some. I know, but we gotta scoop it for them. They can have a little slice. <laughs> mm. What's uh, a different word for like thong, like sandals, the thong? Like these are, okay, I don't wanna call, say thong because to me that's like flip flop, but this has like the thong toe thing. How, do, how can I put that in my title? <laughs> Did I say thong? Another word for thong, G strings? Stop. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Like, I, that, there's, is there a little another word? Well, when I'm listing flip flops, I'll say flip flop thong. I feel like I say one other thing and I can't think of it. You got me. Try to look up. <laughs> Slippers. Not all Goodwills are nutty with pricing. Iowa and Nebraska are okay ish. We gotta go to no. 
Oh, I'd like to go to Iowa. You want to go to Iowa? Do what? Did my uh huh? And do what? <laughs> What's in Iowa? Um, nothing. Good people. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... I don't know. What is Iowa known for? Did my North Texas peeps get hail today? I have a friend that got softball size hail, practically ruined her car. Pew. Uh, that's the one thing I hate about Colorado. We get hail way too much. It's been a good stretch, though, which means we're probably going to be getting a big storm here soon. <laughs> Maya says, this was, huh? This was our big. This was our big hail. Uh, OK, see, I don't care that much if they want to start pricing high, because if it doesn't sell, why not? Let me see that. See, I don't care that much if they want to start prices high, but if it doesn't sell, why not drop the price? Instead, they'd rather send it to the bins with boutique pricing, with boutique price tags. Most of it gets thrown out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the, the reasoning behind it all. If I was a Goodwill manager, I would just list it all like per item. Shirts are two dollars. Shoes are five dollars. And literally just do it like that. We don't have any Goodwills that do it that way here. They're all so. ran by the same Goodwill of Colorado, though. Not even like the hole in the wall. They do it like that. Yeah. But if the goal is to make as much money while also keeping everything from being thrown away, I feel like that's the best way. I could be wrong, though. Uh, it's probably am. Uh, Jen says, Kelly, not sure, not where I live, but it's supposed to come our way. We got rain, though. Oof. Junk Monkey, what's going on, man? Rob's here. Kelly says, we're getting rain tonight in Waco. Uh, Kendra says, I'm in Nebraska, and the nearest Goodwill to me is about an hour away, and prices are crazy. Basic Maurice's or Kato, Kato? is marked five to ten dollars okay. rob says i like pie <laughs> pie's good uh kendra what part i've been going to oh, omaha once a month and i haven't seen anything too crazy what was the best thing we found in omaha when we were there i don't remember <laughs> Alyssa says, going to give Whatnot a try with all of the inventory that I got for cheap or free. Currently delisting inventory. I plan to move there, and maybe I'll start selling there regularly on top of eBay. Nice. Grand Island. Lil N wants to know what's her favorite pie. What's your favorite pie? You like berries. I yeah, I mean, I like the peanut butter pie, but. Yeah. I don't. I Kathy likes like fruity. I do like fruity, but like if it has a lot of whipped cream on it, though. Is know. it you like the fruit or the whipped cream? I mean, I like <laughs> it all together. I like the pie that we're about to eat as soon as Kathy goes and gets it you from want upstairs. Me to go right now? I mean, whenever. But yeah, you can get it right yeah, now. All right, after I list twenty <laughs> items, I'll go. <laughs> I think I just typed out five, but I did not list them yet. And if it's a bust, I guess I'll take the small loss, donate the things I tried to sell, and gain some inventory storage back. There you go. I'm about to choke. <coughs> Alyssa, you can import all your inventory from Poshmark to whatnot, FYI. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You need a drink? Yeah, can you give me one? Diet Coke? I have a water. <clears throat> Mimi just got approved to do lives on Poshmark. I never applied though. <laughs> Not sure if I want to do that. Uh, in Maryland, we get snow, but the past few years it's been warm. A few years ago though, it snowed like every weekend. I was driving to work on unplowed roads. Wow, so it's that 
different. You can have years where you get snow and years where you don't. That's crazy. I agree that Omaha isn't bad as far as pricing. I try to go once a month just to get there during tax season. No time. Yeah. Tax season, man. It like ruins everything, doesn't it? I've been manually delisting from less perfectly and using the photos to import to whatnot. I'm still learning the whole process. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could just take whatnot straight from Poshmark listings. You don't need uh, less perfectly or anything. Post toe. Ooh, I'll have to tell her that when she comes back. Post toe. Huh. Is that the technical term for it? Toe post sandals. Flip flop. Sometimes called pluggers? What? Oh, that's in Australia. Okay. <laughs> Any Australians here? Do you call flip flops pluggers? <laughs> Butt floss. <laughs> uh, just say thong sandals. Gladiator style. Post toe? Two post toes, huh? Birthplace of Mark Twain, aka Samuel Clements. What? What is? So I had to think my think my best haul. I had to think my best haul ever today. Four Johnny was embroidered tops. One pair of Johnny was pants. I'm gonna read this. Ooh, big old slice. Thank you. Is that one bigger? Can I have that one? My plate is smaller than yours. No, I'm just kidding. We got the pie. Here, I gotta put. You guys gotta see how big this is. Ah! I almost slid off my plate. <laughs> Do you want a smaller piece? Yes. You would have on mine if you want. I don't want a smaller piece. Well, then why what? Are you saying it's too big? I'm probably gonna have another piece later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, this is this is a chocolate peanut butter cup pie from Village Inn. Super, super good, super sweet though. Mandy said, so I had, so I had, I think my best haul ever today. Four Johnny Was embroidered tops, nice. one pair of Johnny Was pants, Patagonia better sweater, Lily Pulitzer maxi dress, all in one store. Nice. And she says, in me, I'm in Iowa. <laughs> that was in Iowa. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> T-Borg, what's up? Says, oh, my gosh, I made it. Hello, all. <laughs> Welcome in. Hope you brought some pie. Would you like a piece of pie? <clears throat> I think Josh and Haley have inspired me to use whatnot. I see how quickly they move inventory, and I'm just like, let me try that real quick. <laughs> I always go back and forth on wanting to try it or not. Yeah. We'll probably have to try it at some point. Well, you will for your bus. You keep saying that, but... <laughs> I mean, I think it's true. That's how all Goodwills are here. Thankfully, no pricing up. Nice. So they price like $2 shirts or like all shirts are the same price. See, I wish... I wish at least one... Hmm. Do you think the new Goodwill we're getting built here is going to be Goodwill of Colorado managed? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. Um, and I try to go to try to get to Colorado Springs bins to source twice a year. Tried Denver once, but it was a little scared with the homeless camps near the one I went to. 
The homeless shelter is right by Kearney, I think. Yeah. Is that the one that's like like in a business yeah, district? Yeah, that's the one I like going to best, but like I can never get a parking spot in yeah, the lot. Yeah, that's just what I don't hard. like. There's like no, just the, even getting down in there, it's like in such a weird location. It's like in a commercial yeah. trucks, like all these trucking manufacturing facilities. It's just like. And then behind their building, they have like a thousand parking spots but they say you can't go back there like the first time i went there i didn't know like the gate's oh. wide open there's no sign that says you can't park there i don't think so i parked there and they told me as i was leaving that i can't park there i was like oh, okay i'm leaving so. <laughs> <laughs> like what are all these parking spots for? jake's here what's going on man this is hey guys lurking and listing welcome in You and corn. <laughs> lemon meringue pie? That's what Kelly's favorite is. I don't, I don't think I would like that. You don't like lemon <laughs> meringue pie? No, I don't like lemon that much. Do you like lemon bars? I only like actual lemon sprinkled in my diet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like lemon flavor that much. What? I mean, I like lemon pepper in my tuna. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't like actually, like lemon flavor. Homemade blackberry pie. Still mm. warm with a scoop of that vanilla ice really cream. Good. That's what Junk Monkey's got. Mm. Like bread pudding. I love that. <laughs> that's not pie. I know, but that's what I like <laughs> instead of pie. <laughs> I'm way cooler than corn. <laughs> Kidding. The corn way outranks me. I used to listen to corn in high school. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, what's going on? I didn't know you were that kind of a guy. What? Just a, what, like a rock? Rock? What, what kind of music is that even? I mean, that was rock, metal. I didn't know you were a metal guy. No. What did you think I listened to? Um, I mean, I was I would listen to <laughs> Christian music. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guy from Corn is a Christian now. Did you hear that? No. I'm not a big fan of warm fruit. So I think my favorite pie has to be Hershey's pie. It's a classic for some. Is that like a French silk pie kind of thing? Anna's here says, hi, how was the play date? Good fun. That was good. Yeah. yeah. Probably going to try to get him to play over the spring break. You haven't said I don't know that I would be the one to reach out. Hmm. Virginia City. <clears throat> Loca Family Flippers, what's going on? Uh, it was a beautiful day in Boise today. Uh, hopefully the warm 60s weather is headed your way to Colorado. Yeah, I think you were saying next week's going to be a decent week. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Lori's got a, a, a joke. Why did Pi lose his driver's license? He didn't know how to stop. How does that? Because Pi never ends. <laughs> What's how far can you recite Pi? I cannot recite it. Do you know the three numbers of it? Obviously. What? The, uh, <laughs> the date. Pi day, yes. <laughs> Is that how you remember? Because <laughs> the date. <clears throat> I feel like it's 3.14. 3. 159. 
five three five. All right. <laughs> I knew like five digits. <laughs> you can make it a game like Simon or something. I bet our kids, like, if we if we probably tasked no them with that, there. they'd probably have, like, 30 memorized by the end of the week. They love memorization things. They're weird. <laughs> We're also in a tornado warning? Jen, wow. And where's our slice? How rude! It's bring your own pie. Sorry. Did you say that on the live? Um, you didn't. You didn't say bring your own. You said I eat said some eat pie. some pie. I didn't say have some. You got eat some. <laughs> I wish I could share with you. Not really, because this is too good. <laughs> well, he says, "Did you know?" That 3.14% of sailors are pirates? No. <laughs> this is a joke. Did you know that 3.14... Oh. <laughs> pirates. I get it. <laughs> Do you get it? No. <laughs> Pi pirates, pirates. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at these things. The funny thing is, is you're extremely good at math. Not extremely. Just, I'm not even that good. <laughs> I just know basic things. You know what happens if you eat too much pie? You get a big circumference. Mm -mm. What did Pi say to its partner? Stop being so irrational. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I've been hearing them all day from my math nerds. <laughs> Kendra likes strawberry pie. Give me pie or give us pie. Give me pie or give me death. Can I trade my Reese points in for a piece of pie? <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> you got to pay shipping and handling. <laughs> I don't have any pie at home. I'm definitely craving some, but I'm on a low calorie diet. I do have some low calorie ice cream though. Just put it like in the shape of a triangle. <laughs> it's a ice cream pie. Used to love banana cream pie. I don't know if I've ever, is that like with the Nutella or the, what are those called? Nilla wafers? Is that banana cream pie? Oh, I don't like the flavor of banana much either. So. Speaking of food, guess what I saw at Safeway yesterday? White-ish strawberries called pine berries. Not sure, but maybe a hybrid pineapple strawberry? Pine berries. It looks like schnozberries. Pine berry, uh, pine berry pie. It's a white strawberry with red seeds, pineapple like flavor. I guess you're not too far off, Tom. Tommy. <laughs> Man, those are kind of creepy looking. I've seen those, I don't know what they are. Lori in with another one says, what's a mathematician's favorite animal? I'm not 
good at jokes. I like overthinking. A python. <laughs> Around seven dollars. Not ready to pay that to find out. You do just try one. Like, get a free sample, and then if you like it, buy it. What's the ideal way to serve pie? A la mode. Because anything less is mean. <laughs> Those are expensive here too. I had the same thought. Oh, what I have gotten before are plum clot, plum cots. They're plum ap apricots. Plum cots doesn't even sound remotely appealing. It reminds me of that Jamaican, like, cuss word. <laughs> uh, where did you say you got that pie from, Chris? Maybe I can see if I uh, find one to try it. Uh, Village Inn. The food at Village Inn is, like, bad, but the pie is good. It's Village Inn. It's a peanut butter. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. see how to do this sorry <laughs> um that should fix that There we go. So here's Village Inn. Um, pies. I don't want to order. I just want to look at the menu. Uh, they're all in all these states. So. Whole pies. There's this one right here. Layers of dark chocolate French silk and chunky peanut butter cup silk. Inside our own unique peanut graham cracker crust. Top with real whipped cream, chocolate peanut butter cups and roasted peanuts then drizzled with chocolate ganache and caramel. The whole pie is only 4,890 calories. <laughs> How much protein? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Probably more than their other pies because of the peanuts. <laughs> it's a special treat. <laughs> Are these genetically modified fruits? <laughs> Probably. Probably. To be honest, they were just really like plums. <laughs> no, that's banana pudding. Oh, so there's a banana cream pie is different than banana pudding. Kelly says, I had the raspberry oranges from Trader Joe's. They were pretty, they were pretty good. OMG, I love banana pudding. Now y'all have me craving banana pudding. Sorry, this is the wrong stream to be watching if you guys are like trying to be healthy and <laughs> not eat pie and desserts. I'm not following any specific diet, but like a lot of my TikToks are like protein, healthy -ish protein -centric, snacks. Yeah. And like a lot of them look super easy and so we should try to make some. Raspberry oranges? I 
try those. These aren't my jokes. <laughs> I read them from uh, corny math jokes, .com. Actually, I think it's our readers digest.com. <laughs> what did Pi say to his sweetheart? You're looking radiant tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are nerds in the best way. Oh, nerd is a compliment nowadays. Village Inn should not be a restaurant and just be a pie store. I know. Like, literally, the restaurant, the restaurant is bottom tier. Like, the worst <laughs> Like, I've never had a good meal at, at Village Inn. We've only ever gone because of the pie. <clears throat> never heard of that place. Must be a Colorado thing. Seems, seems like there are quite a few. But... I thought Village Inn was pretty standard, like IHOP or like, is IHOP pretty? I just think it is. <laughs> well, international. <laughs> that means it must be around the world. <laughs> Basically, I thought it was like McDonald's. <laughs> Village Inn. <laughs> Lori wants some Village Inn pie now. Tommy says, I've walked by so many village inns and have never seen anyone eating. How do they survive? I don't know, because everyone I walk by, there's never any waitresses or waiters working. Like, I don't know. It's just like you go there and you're going to spend three hours there. Late, but you made it. Welcome in, Brittany. There's a village inn here in El Paso. Haven't been there yet. If the, I mean... I don't know if they make the pies in store or if they get them delivered or whatever, but the pies are good. Oh, sorry. Am Amish markets and Amish villages have really good pies. I just wish they treated their dogs better. I'm really torn about spending money with them. Are Amish messed? Like, do they do? I didn't know. I didn't know they treat mystery dogs. We've never really been around Amish, though. I don't think Colorado has a big Amish community. I grew up all over the country. Never heard of American Girl dolls until my 40s when I was uh, when I visited an American Girl store in New York. I felt like I missed out on something big. And I was a huge Barbie fan, too. That's Kelly. Kelly mm -hmm. didn't know about American Girl until her 40s. I guess I didn't. It's like I didn't know about them when I was a kid. I mean, I never, I never did. <laughs> well, you're a boy. <laughs> Tommy says, I like peanut butter and I like Reese's, but I'm not sure if I could eat a whole peanut butter pie. Now, it's not overbearing, right? Like the no. peanut butter. Like the filling, it's like a peanut flavored peanut butter flavor. It's not like it's not like eating a spoon of peanut butter. It doesn't taste like that much peanut butter. They had some in El Paso. That's way too far from where I live. Oh. Maybe you can get a DoorDash. <laughs> uh they have... It's a lot of calories. <laughs> yeah. It's not healthy pie. <laughs> not in the slightest. But it does look good. Village Inn is indeed bottom tier. Not very yummy. I prefer Black Bear or IHOP. We went to Black Bear. Like that either. wasn't that good either. Yeah, yeah. IHOP. There's not a lot of I, good I, you know what? places. I bet it's it's got to be a regional thing. What? Like, I bet there's places where IHOP and Village Inn are better. But here in Colorado... My favorite chain is just like Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. But we went to it's Cracker... It's been like bad lately. Yeah. I mean, we went to that one Cracker Barrel in North Carolina, North Carolina, and it wasn't 
it wasn't as good as even here and it's going downhill from here too a lot of puppy mills on the east coast are amish oh, i didn't know oh in the northeast actually village visited a village inn in glenwood springs and there was an entire amish family there like 15 of them you want to go there for our anniversary glenwood uh huh or village in. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not village in. <laughs> Our kids are yelling at each other. <laughs> so it's funny that we're talking about village in and Amish people. <laughs> it's like the Ginger Marvin stream is like that weird TikTok that comes up after something you just talked about <laughs> or thought about, and then you start getting content that's related to it. <clears throat> is black bear really good there's one in vancouver across the river should i try i mean i didn't like ours when did we go to me like black bear was like you guys remember shoney's it was kind of like a shoney's or like a denny's but that could just be the ones here in Colorado. Because Kelly likes them. Like Waffle House. I feel That's like when we, we were... with Kelly. Yeah. When, like, I liked the Waffle House when we were in, in Carolina. Yeah, that was pretty good. The Waffle Houses here are not that good. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it seems like every employee at that one was an adult. Did you notice that? Yeah. Like, older adult. And... All the like restaurant workers here are just like teenage, you know, young adult. The ones that just don't care. <laughs> I think that makes a difference too. Pancakes are so good. Have to check them out. Yeah, report back, Tommy. I want to know <laughs> how good the, the black bear is up in Vancouver versus Colorado Springs. I didn't know about them either until I was an adult and visited in Gal Galleria. The Black Bear and Fountain was good. I guess that wasn't that good, but definitely better than the Village Inn. Yeah, I think we've only been to that Black Bear once. Never heard of Black Bear either. Don't judge me. I still like IHOP and their chicken fried steak in it with hash brown and eggs served with pancakes. So I recently went to IHOP. It was... One of the other times it snowed, the, I took the kids to Taekwondo. <coughs> and there was an IHOP like right there. And I didn't want to drive and I just had to sit for like an hour. So I went and I got like two eggs, little bacon and some pancakes. It was like one of the deals and a cup of coffee. And it was $20 for one meal. And it was not good. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Waffle House is only good when you need to sober up after a night out. <laughs> oh, there's a black bear that is closer, so I may try to see what y'all are talking about. Oh, maybe that's why we had, maybe we had dinner at that black bear. The yeah, one it was found. like a weird meat thing. I mean, I don't yeah. even know if it tasted bad. I just couldn't get past how it looked. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm the kind of person that if like I'm eating chicken I take a little bite and then like look at it and make sure it's not like weird looking at all <laughs> before I actually like eat it Pro tip, don't watch Ginger Marvin live while you're hungry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we'll eat pie right in your face. All right. Try to 
find a better pie joke. Why should you avoid getting into an argument with pie? Because it goes around in circles. Did you just chuckle? <laughs> 20 bucks, dang, I haven't been since pre-COVID. I'm scared to see what the price is now. I think last time it was like 12-ish, yeah. That's why I like Chipotle, In-N-Out. These are like $10 or less meals still. I mean, that was with tip, but still. It was I mean, 20 bucks for me and the kids to both eat. At Chipotle? Like three meals, yeah. Well, kids' meals are only like $5, which is a really good deal. Let me try to see. Keep pushing the wrong button. Well, quit pushing the wrong button. Let me try that. Try this one. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like this two by two. I did two over medium, I did two bacon, and two pancakes. And then I did a coffee, which uh, that's what it was, a $4 cup of coffee. $4 <laughs> for, for IHOP coffee. And like, she never gave me a refill. So like one of those tiny little mugs of coffee. none listed like i feel like something's messed up so that's what it was it was like a 13 dollar meal four dollar coffee and then tip it was like 20 bucks <clears throat> so it seems like only new a tag of this doll is listed that i'm listing should i list mine for like 80 the cheapest new one is 123 but the new one does come with the regular dress Mine comes with this random outfit. Listed for a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, I know. I still remember when we talked about Girl Scout cookies for an hour <laughs> straight. We still haven't bought any. <laughs> Every time I drive to the, the on <laughs> last weekend, I was supposed to meet Chris at Walmart and I drove up and I was like, one side is Girl Scouts, the other side is a guy trying to get you to sign his clipboard about something. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going in. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can't meet you there. I'll see you later. <laughs> I Googled the strangest pie and they looked and sound gross. What was the strangest pie? Dorito and onion pie? That I would eat. <laughs> Just looks like a like a bachelor food right there. Vinegar pie? Hmm. Funeral pie. Hmm. Chipotle, yes. I just got an email saying they have a new chicken. I gotta try it. I thought they had um They don't have what you got though, like carne asada, or was that? something else mm, what i do feel like there's a new item i didn't know it was chicken though all right well kathy's working we're gonna look at some strange pies avocado pie mm. would you eat that no, I do love avocados. <laughs> Guacamole pie. <laughs> really like your lives. The lack of drama is nice. 
some lives I've been on are just a bunch of people arguing about the eBay algorithm. <laughs> We're much too not smart for that. <laughs> we don't know the algorithm. My husband refuses to go to Chipotle with me. He worked at Qdoba for three months <laughs> and is now the loyal Qdoba fan. There isn't even a Qdoba around here and we live five minutes away from Chipotle. I do like Qdoba. You do? I don't really, I mean, I would eat there, but I don't really like it. I do think here, at least, I don't know, maybe in our friend circle, there's like a Qdoba Chipotle rivalry. <laughs> I like them both. I mean, the last yeah, couple times I went to Chipotle, I didn't like it. That's why I, I didn't get Chipotle with them today. <laughs> um, yeah, I got that, that carne asada that was temporary, like seasonal or whatever. And it was just like cold. It was expensive because it was a steak and it just wasn't good. And then, yeah, I got chicken last time and it, that just wasn't good either. <coughs> Back in the day, IHOP would leave the coffee pitcher on the table so it was endless. I know. Maybe if there was more, it was just me. I don't know if it was... Um, just wasn't enough people or if they've changed that for COVID or something. Green grape pie. You know, I always wondered like how, what a grape pie would be like. Oh, there it is right there. That looks gross. I guess I always thought it'd be more like a jelly, like jam pie, which I just thought might be like a cobbler almost green tomato pie stargazy pie pickle and peanut butter pie what the Ew. navy bean pie Kathy's here says just got home from work time to relist yay Alyssa said, you just reminded me to do my daily 50 cell similars. Thanks. <laughs> but also, then again, we live on the border, so we rarely get Chipotle anyways. There are way more, much better authentic Mexican spots. I was going to ask you if you wanted to go. What's that new one down? Or not down, but just up. More by Meridian Ranch. Opened a few months ago. I don't know what it's called. Oh, you know what I'm talking up about? by the Toad Place? Yeah. We haven't been there yet. I think they even have a little market that sells like non-cooked meat. Like you could buy carne asada there and stuff. Mm. I just want to go up there. Closed today anyway. Oh. Because mm -hmm. the weather. <clears throat> I saw Freddy's was closed. I like them both, but I'm a vegetarian and I really like the sofritas from Chipotle. So that's where I typically go. I only go to Qdoba with my family since they prefer it. I don't think I've been to Qdoba in years. I would eat this, no lie. Mac and cheese with bacon pie. That just looks good. Beef and beer pie. That actually doesn't look too bad. It just looks like a pot roast pie <laughs> with beer. Frito chili pie. I would eat that. Okay, here's the, oh gosh, stargazy pie. I see fish heads sticking out of it. I'd eat that. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. 
fish heads poking out of that pie. This is a Cornish dish made out of fish, specifically pill shards, potatoes, and egg, and is enveloped in a pie crust. So it's like a fish quiche. Here's a recipe if you want it. <laughs> Nobody has ever clicked that button. I, I'm telling you. Hot dog pie. Hmm. Look. <laughs> Look at that. The, the, the lattice on top of the pie is American cheese. <laughs> I'd eat that. <laughs> I would eat that. Oh, man. Y'all heard of the $22 burrito? It made the Spanish news, Univision. And I'm like, nope. I don't care how good it tastes. I'm not paying that much. $22 burrito? Like, from where? I mean, that's about what burritos are going to cost in like two months. <sighs> the one in San Francisco. So, owner of the $22 burrito, or of the place, explains his $22 burrito. That does not look big enough to be $22. <laughs> That's like half the size of a Chipotle burrito. So, if you want to spend $22, bucks, it was only... A year ago, it was 12 bucks. Now it's 22. Yikes. Yikes. Next year, it's going to be $44. Have you guys tried the loop in Manitou? We have. My sister's friends, family runs the place and it's super good. Really? You got any like friends, family discounts? I like that place. We haven't been in a while, but. We don't get down to Manitou too, too often. Why is the thing I remember is that like the salsa was super good? No, I thought it was like, well, maybe good, but like super spicy. And I normally don't oh. really care about spicy. I remember like my mouth burning. <laughs> <laughs> it's called La Baca Baria. It's in Cali. You guys want to eat this Twinkie pie? It's a Paula Deen creation. Mm. I don't like Twinkies that much. Nacho pie. The pie crust is made of croissant, crescent rolls, tortilla chips. Interesting. Here we go. Green tomato pie. I do like green tomatoes. Do you like green tomatoes? I don't know if I ever have. Like fried green tomatoes? I barely like regular tomatoes. <clears throat> Pickle and peanut butter pie with yogurt. What are these? Peppers? And those yogurt... Are those yogurt raisin thingies? Oof. Oof. Made two sales. You made two sales? Yeah. They have $24 and $30 burritos. And if you want guac, it's an extra $16. <laughs> Mission District, it will be $4 toll, $20 parking, $22 burrito, and $2, two hours traffic there and back. Sign me up. Then you get there, you go and eat. Your car gets towed. <laughs> Club sandwich pie. This one won the aforementioned strange pie contest in California. Hmm. I'll 
stick with my peanut butter pie. I like that one. Broke one of my lights and now I gotta spend $32 on a new set because I can't buy them individually. That's all. Like your photograph lights? Photography lights? These are some pretty lame jokes. What's wrong with the equation pi r squared? Pi r round, cake r square. <laughs> Jen says, congrats on the sales. Yeah, they swivel, and I guess one of them just decided to break off. They're not the best quality, but they definitely do the job. Will you be able to have three now, though? Could be all right. It's a business expense, though, saving on those taxes early. <laughs> And the pie you like is not expensive. I for sure thought it was going to be around the same price as a Cheesecake Factory. How much is a Cheesecake Factory cheesecake? Because 20 you bucks. You only buy one piece and it's like eight or nine, nine probably yeah. like 10 bucks now. I mean. How much was this, 15? It was 20, $20 and two cents. And I didn't tip. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I just walked in and buy it at the counter. So I don't know if this price 1669 I don't know if taxes was that much I don't know Let's see what are the other pies they got see these fruit pies are way cheaper you can get a $12 pie Strawberry rhubarb pie. <clears throat> There's a lemon meringue. A whole lemon supreme. They got your key lime pie. They also have <clears throat> cheesecake. Holy smokes. Mm. You can get a carrot cake there for $55. Why is, I don't know. It's it like three cakes on top of each other. Two, it's two layer cake with shredded carrots, pineapple, sweetened coconut, and pecan pieces covered in cream cheese frosting garnished with walnut cheese. The small one's like 40 ish bucks for a six inch cheesecake. There's a banana cream pie right here. Day.org. <laughs> Did you know that since the exact value of pi can never be calculated, we can never find the accurate area of a circumference of a circle? 
area or circumference of a circle. I didn't know that. That's why it's irrational. I couldn't imagine spending that much on a pie. OMG. Better off just making one myself. I've tried to make this village in pie. This. I, I mean, if you think about how many ingredients. No, you need. it like. Like I, I made a salad the other day because <laughs> I love this neater salad. And for me to buy all the things to put in the salad cost me more than the $12 that the salad would have cost. And granted, I could probably make it a few more times, but I wouldn't before all the ingredients went bad. Oh no. Peanuts are expensive. Peanut butter. Well, I guess peanut butter's not that expensive. Jen says, I see they have banana cream pie there. Next time, buy it, try it, and then let us know if y'all like it. Kathy won't like it. She don't like bananas. I like bananas, but not banana cream. I mean, what? I put bananas in you my like smoothie. You like bananas, but not bananas? <laughs> not banana, like, cream <laughs> stuff. <laughs> not like banana Laffy Daffy or anything like well, that. Well, that, yeah, that's different. I don't like banana Like candy cream. banana is not really banana flavor. Yeah. Tommy says, I'll go to Safeway and buy a carrot cake long before going to <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Are we getting a cheesecake factory down here? Probably not. I'm watching you guys on my living room TV as I work, and now I want something sweet. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake factory white chocolate raspberry is the best. We don't have that here either. Got to go to Dallas. I'm allowed to write the D word in the title. What's the D word? The D word. <laughs> Remember when I tried to sell that one hat? It wasn't letting. I mean, this says it on the hat. That's why I'm writing it. Oh, that's not the D word I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe if you do quotation marks. Can you guys use cuss words in, in eBay titles? And is the D word considered a cuss word? <laughs> I'm so glad I could pop in for one of your guys' streams as I don't, as I didn't bowl this week. I was gonna call you, call it a night, but I've been working all day and I'm super tired. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Alyssa, good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Good night. And that, this is why I always eat out. So much cheaper for one versus having to buy all the ingredients all the time it makes, and all the time it takes to make. Yeah, that's my, and I hate cleaning up. Like, I don't, we use paper plates usually. So, I don't know. I just, this morning, it's snow day. So we made like this whole waffles and stuff, which was really good. Yeah, protein waffles. <laughs> yeah, but like, just to get all ready is at least 30 minutes. Yeah. And then you got to clean up. That was like 30 minutes. <laughs> like, that's a long time just for one meal. I don't like doing that. Yeah. It's like, I like bacon, but it sucks cooking bacon. It just splatters all over the place. Like, I know we could probably get like a splatter guard or whatever, but then you got to clean that too. That's why I just get pre-made salad kit. <laughs> yeah, that's... What I've been doing with a lot of our meals is I'll buy like the bagged salads. So you just assemble it. The kids really like Caesar salad. And so we get a Caesar salad kit and then I'll get like a, a take and bake, which it's like cooked mostly, but you base, you, you finish it off with, it's like a sourdough and they've got them at our King Supers has them take and bake sourdough for like, I think it's like four bucks or something like that. But the salads, I like it has berries, yeah, you pecans, like candied pecans, chicken, like a whole bunch. Of and then Kathy, she'll buy like the candied pecans, and I'll find them in the pantry, and I'm like, ooh. And ooh, then I'll $12 eat twelve dollars worth of nuts <laughs> in one. Don't little mind snack. if I do. <laughs> Devil, no, not that D word. Uh, beaver dam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, depending on the word, I have. Laurie says, your your waffle looked really good. It was really good. Air fryer. That's, you know, we we have an air fryer, but it's not like the typical, like, what do you call that? 
the the bucket one like a drawer like the bucket drawer i have seen people cooking bacon in that and it seems super easy it's like i almost want to get one of those air fryers for that reason we have uh is it ninja is it a ninja air fryer I don't know. You got it, and it's not the kind I would have picked. I got it because it has the rotisserie. Because we've used that so much. I have. Times. That's. I mean, it cooks wings really good. I don't know if it's a ninja. I like the basket. It's an Instapot one. So it's got like this, this basket, which is great for like fries and stuff. It just rotates in there while air frying. It makes really crispy chicken wings. And uh, so it's not like your typical, like this kind of air fryer. But it does have like some drawers, so I wonder if, or like trays, like these. I'll have to try that. Paper plates, how posh. <laughs> I eat from the pot some days. <laughs> as little if I do dishes clean as it. you can make. Yeah. I feel like when Chris makes food, he you use too many dishes to cook. And if you wash them all, you generate. <laughs> but we also, we also like our oven. We got a, a, a new oven, and it's it has an air fryer button, which I think is just a convection oven. But it's got like a big like oven sized tray like this. But I wouldn't want to cook bacon on that. I feel like that would just make a mess inside our oven. So I'm kind of thinking about just getting like a cheap one of these. Just for like that kind of stuff, like bacon, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I have yeah. a huge Costco bag of Brussels sprouts, <laughs> but I don't know what you to make buy with a special it. Air fryer. I do love Brussels sprouts though. I saw this one guy cooking Brussels sprouts, and he like uh, he like smashed them, mm. like mashed like thin. Yeah, and oh, they yeah. looked really good. That does sound really good. You know, you know, you see where they like did the smashed potatoes, yeah, like, like that. that, but like Brussels sprouts. That would be good. Cooking chorizo is worse than bacon. I used a used to love chorizo, uh, but after making it, it was made me hate chorizo. <laughs> I like chorizo, and then I had I don't really like it. I had some at uh we had what's that? We get breakfast burritos at this one, Taco Express. Yeah. It's like a like a chain here. There might be everywhere, everywhere, but it's more more of like an authentic Mexican food than like Taco Bell or anything like that. But um, I got a chorizo breakfast burrito and I was eating and I bit into it and my bite, <laughs> it had like, a, it looked like surgical tubing, Ew. but it was like the, like artery or something. It was like a vein and it grossed me out <laughs> because it wasn't ground up in the chorizo. And uh, I have not, had chorizo since we have the ninja foodie and i love it for so many reasons i also have the ninja grill and it's awesome do you have the creamy the creamy <laughs> ninja foodie I know, I know what a creamy is it's the ice cream maker right yeah i think yeah this is the one my mom has my mom has this air fryer it's like a toaster oven What's the grill? Is it like a George Foreman grill? Dude, that is. Look at that thing. That's an outdoor? An electric grill and smoker? Wait, Ninja is the same company as Shark? Huh. 
It was just like cooking sausage when I tried it. UFC night, we do air fryer chicken wings in our gourmia. Is that like the one I'm thinking? It's like even chicken wings. How much are chicken wings these days? Like to make chicken wings yourself. I mean, obviously to make them healthier and everything, you have to, but. Yeah. Chicken wings are kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so much grease and liquid comes out when making it, it makes me want to throw up literally from the chorizo. Well, it was the Mexican uncooked chorizo that I cooked. I don't know if yours was a different type, Tommy. Um, Lori says, I sold a creamy recently. I saw that. I should have bought it How much from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, they were like sold out for a while. You could flip them for more than I saw retail. one locally Facebook marketplace for a hundred bucks. It said brand new. I don't know how true that was. Brand new. Only tried to use it three different times to make three different ice cream. Be like my one. husband made me buy it and we never made ice cream once. <laughs> like you and your beef <laughs> <laughs> Now I want the creamy. Found a creamy at the garage sale for 20. Whoo! That's a good flip. Same company. When I've called for customer service issues, I call Shark. So weird. Oh. It's been a hot minute years since I've cooked it I've gone to ground turkey lately no grease just some water while cooking like turkey sausage yeah 20 bucks always new was it taco cabana they sell chorizo breakfast tacos but I don't think they're in Colorado no it, it's it's called taco express um There's a few of them here in Colorado Springs. I don't know if it's just Colorado Springs, but <clears throat> they do really good breakfast burritos. I don't know what, like, how would you classify this kind of fast food? I would, I don't know if I'd call it like truly authentic, but it's, it's decent. Like breakfast burritos. Yeah. I remember just a couple years ago, these breakfast burritos were like 450, <laughs> but they're pretty, uh, you know, we'll get like bacon, egg, cheese, and, and uh, potatoes, bacon, egg, potato, and sausage, or these <laughs> bacon, cheese, potato, and egg breakfast burritos. That's what we all kind of get. They got good carne asada, chicken tacos, good stuff, good stuff. Like ground beef for burgers, etc. But it's turkey instead of. Chorizo? to try to cook a rotisserie in one of these things or in their air fryer hi hi are you gonna eat that 
Yes. I don't eat my thing all in like five seconds. I didn't eat mine in five seconds either. Is it Taqueria Taco Express or just, it's just Taco Express? I don't know. Like, there's also like Taco Star. I feel like they're, those are a few. It's kind of similar to like this Taco Star place. What kind of, like, how would you classify Taco Express, Taco Star? I don't know. Like, it's not it's really like, authentic, but it's, it's not like. Like, what are you trying to say? Huh? I don't know what you mean. Like, it's. It's fast food Mexican. I don't know. <laughs> like. We also have like an, is Albert Taco still a thing? I think so. Last time I got it, it was gross, so I never went back. No, it's not like Del Taco. It, it, it's like Del Taco is like Taco Bell, like Tex-Mex kind of stuff, right? Mm, I don't think I've ever had Del Taco. <laughs> Yeah, it's, they got horchatas. You can get churros there and stuff. Like it's, it's good. <laughs> Since we always talk about food here, does anyone have any restaurant suggestions in downtown Atlanta? <laughs> Mimi, you still here? <laughs> I don't know how to price this hat. What hat? That Dr. Pepper hat. Lori, the first time I ever heard of Chick-fil-A was in the CNN Plaza in Atlanta. Crazy lines. I want to try this. The Slutty Vegan? <laughs> is that a place? It is. Is it it's in Atlanta? Personally, I only like the Mexican horchata. There's a Salvadorian horchata, but it's that's a no for me. What's different about it? Because I like the rice milk, right? That's Salvadorian. Maro. So instead of like rice and cinnamon, they use moro seeds. Mmm. I bet that has like a more earthy flavor. <laughs> have you got, have you tried a uh, IHOP in Atlanta? <laughs> I started in Botanies, but it's branching out. F oh, it started in Bot. Botanies, but it's branching out. Atlanta, if you like bison, Ted's is good. We have a Ted's Mon Montana Grill. Is that what you're saying? We have a Ted's Montana Grill here. If you like Middle Eastern, Sufis is amazing. Mm, I want some Middle Eastern food now. What was that one we went to in Utah? Was that middle? What kind of food was that? remember that really like we were the only ones there and it was like the most hole in the wallest place ever but it was so good was it ethiopian no it was the one that was like downstairs 
It was some kind of African. I think it was similar to Indian, but not Indian. Oh, you meant Ad Atlanta. It just re <laughs> it corrected the botanies. What about other agua frescas you like? I like the agua de mami. I don't know if I've ever had one. Have you had any? What? Fresca? Those, I mean, I've had a fresca, but... What's the... Is that like the, the juices that are like at, rest, at Mexican restaurants? Agua fresca. Well, that's a restaurant here. Shin Valley Mama's here. What's going on? Hello. All right. Since we got people in the chat, I'm going to do this real quick. We're going to give away some members. Memberships. I got to remember to do this. I think I did the wrong thing. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. Bling, 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 bling. Salvadorian version tasted like dirt. Yeah, it was like those roots, seedy roots, root seeds. All right, looks like Shin Valley Mama. Got one. Mandy got one. Ashley. Q. Little Miss Q got one. And Hannah Grace, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and supporting us. <clears throat> Ted's looks like some place my hubby would like. If you like beer and chicken wings, Taco Mac is the play is the best. There's like so many beers on tap. Taco Mac Atlanta. Kelly says, has anyone heard from Miss Q? It's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time Maybe since she, I've seen her in any chats. She has to be in the chat to have got that, right? I don't know if she's gotten... It's crazy because you said this and then I gifted... That's I a, gifted memberships and then Miss Q got one. That's what I'm saying, aren't they? Aren't I don't know if she has to be. I think like it, it could just be it. anybody. But if you are here, Q, <laughs> I think... We did hear from, well, she bought something the other yeah, day. Yeah, we so have not put the here, video... thank you, which, yeah, the video. The, the video is on a video. It hasn't come out yet, but she did purchase something from us, and she said she's had um, some things happening this year. I don't know how private she wanted it to be or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, she's had she's had a rough year this this basically from this year, and um, yeah, if you guys keep her on your minds and your prayers and all that kind of stuff, she's she's going through some rough patches, her and some family members and stuff. So, but yeah, she did reach out to us and made a purchase. But it's it's crazy. You mentioned her and then she got a, a membership right then. Nice, nice. Thank you.
Yeah, that's what the agua frescas are. The most popular. Oh, horchata is an agua fresca. Agua de tamarindo. Tamarindo. Agua ja de jicama. Agua de lemon. And agua de pe are are they all is that what it means the agua fresca is like the, the constantly mixing drink juice things was she here is just thinking about her no we i mean she's she might be if she is she's probably gonna hold back in the chat but she oftentimes is hanging out here and just lurking. I'll never get one because apparently I don't qualify on this account. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Same gen you can't. Came at the right time. If you go to Ted's Montana, get the homemade chips. And somewhere we haven't been in a long time. Is it still up there? I think so. I think we've only been there once. It was kind of expensive, wasn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Hugs and prayers. Does she sell that? We might be able to support. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much she told us what's going on a little bit. I'm sure she didn't say everything, but um, again, I don't know how public she wants it all to be, but <clears throat> what is this membership? Thanks. Oh, it's just channel membership. It's uh, you get a little, little flower face next to your name. Your, your name turns a different color and. And that's about it. <laughs> you get to hang out and um, YouTube gives us the ability to gift out 10 a month. So you just, you just got one randomly. You're just a random winner. Um, I do think you get a higher chance of winning one if you are active in the chat and stuff. But yeah, it's um, some people use the memberships to, to give, you know, like information and videos and stuff behind paywalls and stuff we just kind of use it here as it's just a, a different way to support the channel but yeah since youtube gives us the ability to give some free I, we just give them out but pretty much nothing other than the name or the little name change the the thing emoji <laughs> next to your name and if i had some i which i don't i haven't made any but we could have like uh, other custom emojis and emotes and stuff like that. Have you guys ever seen these before? <clears throat> Have you seen these? These little wee, wee bear, bear villager. They're so cute. What is this? A crocodile? Uh, alligator. Yeah. Alligator, crocodile, crocagator. Looked in, looked in a super close to our hotel. So that might be a good option. Sweet. I've had all but the lemon and pepino. Is that cucumber, huh? Cucumber limeade. It sounds f like refreshing. Where do the where were those sold at? Like where do you how do you get those? I don't those? know, but this alligator one seems okay. Gans Wee Bear Village. It's water, sugar than the things made of, like pepinos, cucumber, or lemon, or lime. Oh, that's true. Yeah, your name does get at the end of the video. <laughs> Stacy's got it right.
<laughs> I don't think they're carbonated. No, they're, they can't be carbonated, right? Because they mix their... You know those, like, at Mexican restaurants, they got those uh, dispensers that the drink... It's almost like a Slurpee machine, but it's not frozen, not like an icy. But it just is constantly stirring, like the horchata. And uh, I imagine if it was carbonated, that would be foaming up like crazy. Andreas here says, love you guys. Love your videos. Feel like I know you too. If we have questions about your awesome spreadsheet, is there a way to reach out to you? Um, yeah, you could uh, either message me at resource spreadsheet at gmail.com or if you have a question, I could try to answer it right here if it's a simple uh, question. Tamarindo is good. That one. What is this tamarind? Peanut? <laughs> See those drinks everywhere here, but haven't tried them yet? Yeah, I mean, I like horchata. I know a lot of people don't like horchata, but I like it. Oh. It's like a cinnamon milk. Unique sweet and sour flavor that make this is tam tamarind. I'm probably saying that way wrong. Sweet and sour flavor that makes it popular in sweet and savory dishes. Flavor has been compared to a tangy lemon or lime balanced with by sweet caramel notes. It's a cross between a lemon, apricot, and dates. Some varieties are sweeter than others and all become sweeter as they ripen. I gotta try that. It's like a brown, sugary, caramely lime and lemon. Interesting. Yeah, uh, Andrea, if you wanna ask here, I can try to answer they're not similar to lemonade but different types of fruits oh. tamarind is spicy so it gives you a sweet yet sour flavor because of the sugar also what they use to make the Mexican candy spicy. Do you like that? You like those Mexican candies, yeah? You might like that tamarind drink then. Tamarundo. Thanks. Using it, but still have to read the how-to video. May get my questions answered there. Yeah, it, 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 it could be a little tricky to understand if you don't have the, uh, if you haven't watched the how-to video. Tommy likes it. Acquired taste on the tamarind. Ben says, I'm half Mexican, but I could never get into tamarindo, tamarindo or horchata. You don't like horchata? I'm going to have to try the other one, though. Tamarindo. I 
gotta see if I'm pronouncing this right. They probably already heard it. Tamarindo. 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 It's also a town in Costa Rica. Tamarind. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't rearrange the columns. It'll crash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is so true. Don't go with the high hopes, Chris, because you'll definitely be surprised by the taste. Kathy will like it. I wonder if they'd like let me have like a little taste. That's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> Dang it, Google. I don't know. Tamarindo. 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 Tamarind. Tamarind. <laughs> Sierra's here. Says just popping in to say hello. Miss you guys. I love you guys. Good night, Sierra. Hi. Love you too. Be good. Stay out of trouble. What? Tamarindo. 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 I've been trying to learn Spanish with uh, Duolingo. Tamarindo. Now I'll know how to pronounce that when it comes up. <laughs> Probably never. <laughs> <clears throat> when you order your next horchata ask for a taste of the tamarindo <laughs> I'm sure they'll give it give you one put tamarindo Spanish to English in Google and it gives you the right pronunciation that was right right Kendra's here. What's going on, Kendra? No. OMG, they should call them chata shots when you just want a small horchata. <laughs> Can I get a shotty of chati? Just randomly <laughs> made a Mercari sale and realized you guys would be live right now. Sweet. <laughs> Is that all we got to do to get you to come in here? Buy something from you on Mercari? <laughs> yeah, that was right. Tamarindo. <laughs> huh. 
Tommy says, had an order today going to Paris, France. I want to go with my package. Go to Paris. Yeah, congrats on the sale. Probably stopped everything else I was doing. <laughs> I thought that earlier this week when I sent one to Hawaii. What's the the most desirable place you've sold something to that you would want to go to? Yeah. Don't pay that much attention. Have you thought of any? Um. I don't even always look at like the global shipping where they're going. I know. I'll like look at the names of people. Someone from Taiwan just offered me twenty dollars on like a fifty something dollar item. <laughs> they said twenty okay. That was the message. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm not even gonna risk it. Twenty plus seventy in shipping. Well yeah, they probably have to pay a lot. <laughs> if you ever see Agua de Mame, try it. I don't know how to say that either. I only found it at my local grocery store, Rio Grande. I don't know if there's one over there. Let's see what is meme meme lime juice water sweetener and sometimes fresh herbs and mint Mmm, sounds kind of like a mojito. Which is one of my favorite drinks. Although it doesn't look like it's brown. Oh, that's what an aqua fresca is. What'd you just sell? Miss Moose. Some Miss Moose? Out of my two sales that I said earlier, one of them still didn't pay. Hey, is this a viewer? Because I just saw it got liked on Posh at like the same time and just sold on eBay. Let me see. Did they write a message? Oh, they did. Christina, are you a viewer that's watching right now? <laughs> so, what is Meme? Tommy wants to go to Hawaii. So does Shen Valley Mama. Are you happy with the quality of boxes recently purchased? Yeah, the the Granger boxes are good. Yeah. Now I gotta get better tape. <laughs> the other day was, yeah, that the tape, tape was kept bad. Out. We just have really cheap tape right now. But I don't want to waste it. So I gotta use it all first. And you get some from Bubble Boy, huh? That was some good tape. Have y'all ever been to France? I haven't. Only places I've been are Mexico, Israel, and Jordan. I've been to France. I am not. I've been to most of Europe, most of Eastern Europe. When I lived in Germany, um, I was young. I don't remember much of it, but yeah, we've been to. I've been to Italy, Holland, Germany. <laughs> France, Spain, um, Denmark, maybe. Yeah, I mean, when you like over there, like you could take a weekend and go to like a different country easily. It's like driving across Colorado. <laughs> Very small. Uh, ninety-five percent of the messages I get on eBay are now just lowball offers. Since I may have my threshold, since I have my thresholds set, I just ignore them now. Tommy just googled the mame. It looks good, but I didn't say flavor. Look like creamy carrot juice. Yeah, this says mame. I don't know what that is. What what mammy is? And then it's got pecans, vanilla, sugar, evaporated milk. So it seems like, I mean, 
Seems like something I'd like. Like a nutty, sweet drink. Kelly likes the tape from American Bubble Boy. I think we've had one roll or something. We got some oh, free like one time. Flipcon. They put it in oh, like the goodie bag, yes. so we had a couple from that. And then I didn't realize that's who it was from at first. That's the my go-to. Is that what it is, or is I don't know what one? it says on there. It just like was really thick, and it was very soft. Yeah, my go-to tape is American Bubble Voice. need two more and then I'll be at my 20. I really want to list this but I forgot to measure it. <clears throat> Your cat to street. Yeah, look at this. I found out the bin. Let's see. How much would it be? Probably nothing. <laughs> cat tap street. <laughs> what do I call it? Do my arms look really short? <laughs> <laughs> this one is new. Only $9. What do you mean? Lori says, my sales have been ridiculously slow for me. Unfortunately, trying to find a better life balance and getting more sleep has resulted in not listing enough. <laughs> my sales have tanked. That stinks. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, just as we start to get a better work-life balance, the kids are out of school for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I have been feeling so good, like, um, this is the first time I'm listing today, but like I already had all my stuff photographed to list for today, which was so nice. Mammy doesn't taste like lime. It's more like a caramel with cantaloupe flavor. Mmm. Haven't figured out how to fix it without going back to the way I was hustling too much before. Lori likes the American Bubble Boy tape, too. Tommy says, I've been to about 40 states here, but never been outside of the U.S. Bro. Just go a little bit north up to Canada. That's, I'd like to go to Canada. I've never been up there. Do you think that is the brand of this? Is it Rubber Stampede? Like, is that the brand name? Probably. And then they're licensed by Peanut or taking Peanut licensing. Jen says, and it's like sweet potatoes too. It's just best if y'all try it. I gotta try it. Do you think they do like flights? You get like a flight of aqua frescas? Can you get a little shooter of each, please? <laughs> Kelly says, yeah, that's the brand name. Yep. My go-to tape. Maya does not care for the go-to tape. The rolls are too small. I hate pulling off the gooey residue in between each and every roll. Off the, oh, taking the residue off the dispenser. So it leaves some residue on your on your tape gun. Walmart near me is closing, so they did 25% off the entire store, so I went and stocked up on tape. All right, there you go. It's good you're getting a tape you like, though. Um, I have a local warehouse store that sells outdated things and they have a big roll for $5 or a pack of six regular tapes for eight. Maybe there's something similar over there. Okay, I stand corrected. I've been to Canada. Yeah, Canada. <laughs> been to, you've been to what, Mexico? Jamaica, Haiti, Haiti, Cayman Islands. We've been to Dominican. I think when we were in Haiti, we, we crossed the border to that one place up in the mountains. The resort? Oh. Um. Puerto Rico. Um. Nowhere like <laughs> Cozumel. Is that Mexico or is that? Yeah. A, that's Mexico. 
But yeah, I don't, I've been to a lot of Europe. Same as mom with a camera. I work, but then I feel bad when I have to take time for myself. Like tomorrow is my day off and I'm relaxing, but I feel like I should be working and listing and not and trading in the struggles. What is the store name? What store are we talking? The ta the rubber stamp? What's it called? I mean, what should I should I say? Like it's <laughs> I mean, I don't think this matters that it's like stained, right? I would just no. You can wash used. that. Yeah, I mean that would just should I write like needs cleaned or what? I don't Recently used. <laughs> Kendra says, all right, back to baking. And I uh, have a yeah. fractured ankle. So maybe tomorrow I'll have oh. some time to list and stuff. Is that, was that Kendra? Kendra, oh, yeah, okay. Richards. Oh, okay. fractured, your, fractured your ankle? That sounds painful. Kelly says, keywords, wood mounted rubber stamp. I think I got them. <laughs> I just copied someone's title no. that said those thingies. If y'all ever come to Texas, we can all go to Rio Grande and try it. Cottage Leaf says, hey guys, I just watched your last video and I was reminded about your live. I live in Texas too. Sweet. We've got a lot of Texas friends here in the chat tonight. Blame it on the autocorrect, huh? <laughs> it's okay, it's inked as long as you put used. Just show the image of the rubber cut so you know the image is intact. So yeah, show the, they wanna see the condition of the, make sure the rubber stamp is not missing any chunks or anything like that. Oh, did you know that Albert Einstein was born on Pi Day? That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> okay, I don't think I ever heard of Top Line. The place I keep meaning to go back to is Habitat for Humanity. Got some really good stuff there. We went to a, what's it called? The Restore, just by Habitat. We didn't really have too much luck finding anything when we went. I was looking... This girl I follow on Instagram, she lives in Colorado Springs, but it looks like she was at a restore up in one of the mountainy towns, and it looked mm. so nice. Yeah. Let me see if I can share that. Sue wants to know, uh, I'm thinking of revamping my store. If I remove a bunch of listings, will eBay penalize me in any way? Um, I mean, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> what? That's some awesome stuff. I know. We Wait, should go up there. We've been to this one. Yeah, is that the one where we just looked at clothes now? But that was yeah. like in more no. Denver. That I think she's like in a, one of the more mountain towns. Hmm. Fork Valley. Where is? 
is that? Fork Valley, Colorado. The Western Slope. So it's like up past Eagle, like off yeah, I-70. Like three hours. It's, yeah. But I want to go up there. <laughs> Maybe if we go to one of those for our anniversary, like go to the hot springs or something. <clears throat> uh, Tessa's here, says, hey guys, I just left ADH Dave's live. Such a mellow mood in comparison. Ours is or you guys oh. are playing the tunes and everything. Is he like tweaking out or something? <laughs> oh, he was doing some shipping, huh? That's what you want us to do sometimes. Yeah, well, I mean, we probably do some live shipping. Should be doing it right now. You could. Jeez, this one sold for twenty-five dollars. Pre-owned this stamp. For that one? Yeah, but then I saw <clears throat> someone has it for seventeen, so I gotta be less than that. Do they have? Is it in good shape on the other side? No. Good grief. I think I'll just do 20, but then a little bit cheaper shipping and it'll drop into our sale and be about the same price as that one. Yeah, I was thinking the same. It's not going to penalize you, but you might get, uh, yeah, it's going to take away from your monthly limit. So, which is probably not a bad thing. Has ink residue. I think I've only been to Texas once. Maybe there's something similar over there. I hear the books are good at the restore. Well, ours was pretty much just furniture and then building supplies. They didn't really have much. There is a different. Uh, have you seen the one down, downtown? No. I feel like that one's got. It's. Like they have an, a yard of like, mm -hmm. like you can get I guess like I was granite remnants and stuff. More of a, like a thrift store all the way around. Like the yeah. one we went to in Denver was that a free store? I that think had so. Clothes and I everything. I think it was. I liked that. One. Yeah, that one was cool. He was shipping a little chaotic. Well, he's he's got ADH Dave <laughs> syndrome. By the way, I'm loving the sweater, Kathy. Good. The bin. We're gonna have two <laughs> videos coming up with that sweater. Yeah. <laughs> we recorded two today. It's nice to just get those out of the way. Now I can work through it all. A second live shipping stream. Yeah, I mean, when the when the shed is all set up and stuff, we'll have internet. We'll have the ability to to do a shipping from the shed kind of thing. Probably not at the time of like what we're doing here. Like it's that'd be kind of late, but like during the day kind of thing. Like a work hour shipping with us, shipping with Kathy live. Yeah, Restore had some good stuff when I when I went. I got an outdoor hose kit for ten dollars that sells for a hundred dollars on eBay. Got a Ryobi trimmer for myself for fifty percent off. I thought they were all building supplies and appliances. I mean, that's what ours, like mm -hmm. ours is fairly new. Um, the one that's close to us. And it's it's pretty much all used supplies, used building supplies, like cabinets and stuff like that. There's furniture, yeah. carpet, like rugs and mattresses. But 
we've been to one up in Denver and it had clothing, it had shoes, it had basically like a Goodwill. Yeah. Plus like a bunch of building materials. <laughs> Most of it is, but they have some decorative home stuff and books. I don't want my 20, so we gotta go. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the other kids don't. Yeah. How long does it take you to do your shipping for 50 items? Are you counting pulling or just like packing? Cause like we'll do a what's old. That takes us, I mean, it takes us 30 minutes for you to pick yeah. and to explain everything. Yeah, if I was just picking, that'd be like less than 10 minutes. Yeah, it'd be like literally 10 minutes. Uh, this last weekend I shipped everything on myself. It took like one hour, it's probably close to 50 things. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, there's some depends. variance. Yeah, like if I had... If it's all poly mailer stuff, it's quick. Right. Well, <clears throat> or if I had a couple of coats or sweaters that I didn't pre-lint roll, then it would take a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, I'd say between hour, two hours max. Yeah. You just but, throw yeah. on a couple YouTube videos. My habitat for humanity had a lot of open box stuff and some stuff is still sealed. Yeah, I think a lot, there's there's not all of it's used, the one that we've got. A lot of it is like uh, a job site will buy, you know, they'll overbuy something and then they'll have like one or two boxes of tiles or whatever that they didn't use. It's never like enough to do a whole big job, but it, it I mean, I'll probably end up using it a lot for the bus because if I can find enough small stuff. I've never been, but I think there's one that's like 20 minutes away. I guess I need to go and check it out. Yeah, I learned about it from a video from Prison to Profit. He was going through scanning stuff there mainly to sell on Amazon. Yeah, I remember one time I saw Matt, yeah. part time pick, part time pickers. He found like some faucets or handle, like hardware door handles, and I mean he was able to get like a couple hundred bucks. Kathy says, "Okay, a hundred listings have been done. Time to go to sleep. Bye, guys." Kathy, thank you so much for hanging out. I think we're gonna head out too. It's nine twenty. Reese's tired. I got a lift. I just ate lift. this big old pie. You gonna do some working out? Yeah. I tried to eat the rest of it for you. Where is I the... Was... I noticed this didn't have a... There it is. Condition? Huh. Oh, wait. No, that's the condition description. Where's the actual condition? Because, like, look. Right here. It doesn't have one. Should say something like, look at this Torchy's hat. It says pre-owned. Where is that? I don't know. I wanted to look that up. What's it called? What? The Dr. Pepper. Dr. Dark Berry. Dark Berry. You guys ever hear of Dark Berry? Dr. Pepper? Oh, it only came out in 2022. Is that the actual name of the store? Restore? Yeah, it's it's by Habitat for Humanity. So they basically use it's the restore. Um and they they basically it's like a branch of Habitat for Humanity. The proceeds go to fund Habitat for Humanity stuff. <laughs> Kelly says, good night. Good night, Kelly. Thank you so much for hanging out. Laura says, thanks, guys. Thank you. Here's a question real quick. Do you ship shoes in poly mailers or boxes? Both. If it fits in a poly mailer and it's, you know, doesn't cost more to put in a box, we'll do a poly mailer. It just kind of depends. 
If it's like a $200 pair of shoes, we'll do a box. <laughs> 100 wow well done 499 dollars listed nice you can do 500 huh well the way i like it it's technically more but like okay i listed 587 dollars but i always minus 15 percent just because the... although i just changed my sale to 11 percent, so technically it's oh there you go you're making it up making up for it 587 times 11 522 dollars technically I always also send offers. Tommy has a question. What's it? What's the size of clear poly you use for your shoes? It's the bigger ones, right? Clear. Oh, the, the cellophane bags. Um, 13 by 15. They're like 12 by 15 or 13 by 15, yeah. depending on the size we can get at the time. But that's usually, sometimes we'll have to do two. If the shoes are too big, we'll do one each shoe. 13 by 15, yeah. After like a men's 11, sometimes 12, you can't really fit them very well. Then I'll just use a large poly mailer. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, enjoying the pie puns, and watching me stuff a piece of pie in my face. <laughs> I gotta go have another. <laughs> um,. We'll have another video coming out tomorrow. So look forward to that if you want. Um, we appreciate you so, so much. And we'll see you all next Thursday. Next Thursday. See you then. See you then. Bye. Or tomorrow if you want to watch a video. Or Monday, we'll do another video too. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.